Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Game Plan Review and this one isn't a download only title but I'm playing on my emulator, one of my emulators so as a result I'm not doing an intro and I'm sorry about that I'll go back to it when I was going to play and of course you know I haven't done a Atari 2600 game in I think several years I think the last game that I did was in 2021 I'm not sure it could be could have been 2020 so as a result I'm doing a retro game this time and of course you probably already know that last year the very last review that I did was an arcade version and of course the arcade version I'm talking about is Sky Skipper and I played that and I did my review on that if you have not watched that review please do so but I will tell you that there was a port for the Atari 2600 and there was only one port there was no port on the NES, there was no port on other consoles, just the Atari 2600. And the Atari 2600 port I'm going to play today. And I checked the reviews on it, and they range from some of them pretty good, and others are not so good. The video game critic actually gave it an F. So if this port actually sucks, I might be giving it a red card, you never know. But I don't know if it sucks. It might actually be good. The question is, is this port good or bad? Let's find out. Alright, by the way, I'm actually recording this after hearing the news that it was a YouTube user that used to make these uh, rants on certain bad games and whatever not. And of course, I found out that he passed away back on January 29th. I'm actually recording this the day that I actually heard the news that he passed. He actually, he actually passed on January 29th. I actually heard it on... It was between the February 5th and the 6th, which I'm recording right now. And, of course, that person is YouTube user. was He was known as Armake21. So what I'm going to be doing eventually, I'm going to do a tribute video of sorts. Where I do an actual game that sucks. And, because he, he had a series called games that suck I think I'm going to find a game that I've played and I'm gonna put that particular game for that video and it'll be a tribute to Armic 21 and of course his real name was Mar Marcus Spatnano or I, I can't pronounce it it'll be it it'll be in the description box so I just wanted to let you know. So rest in peace, Marcus. And if you probably don't know that I could have I could have ended up talking with him 
on Skype. But unfortunately, I never did. I he did accept my contact at one time, but I just didn't. I just didn't talk with him. I probably should have. We probably would have been great friends, but of course that didn't happen. I I I really should have talked with him, but oh well. Rest in peace, Marcus. So now it's time to get to the game. It's time to play Sky Skipper. And I'm going to do it on Stella. I could do it. Okay, these are the ones I could do it on. I think I'll do it on Stella for this. Let's turn this sucker up. It's probably going to take a little bit because of. Uh, course I can check it out on my Wii U gamepad because of course with all these emulators I'm going through because it's the RetroArch emulator I'm doing this on the Wii U by the way the RetroArch emulator actually allows for the Wii U gamepad and the TV screen so if I want to play it right here I could play it right here if I, if I want to or I can watch on the TV screen and play it that way so here we go. I'm probably going to do it on the TV, the, on the Wii U game pad. Here we go. Let's see. Which button do I press? Start button. Okay. Okay, this is... Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Shoot. What did I do? I have to try it again. Okay. I'll be quite honest, I think so far I like the arcade version better. Shoot! That was my fault. Because usually they would be attacking you. I played the arcade version. Shoot, I ran right into it. Will it let me play? I probably have to play it, do it all over. Yes, I do. Shoot. supposed to be attacking you. Why is he not attacking you? Is this all you do? Is attack him? And that's it? So far I'm not really getting this game. That's just too easy. What? Why didn't that sucker attack? I wonder if there's a different difficulty mode. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I'll have to try it. See if there's different difficulties. And so far, this is too easy, and he doesn't attack. You can hit him, but that's it. So far this game was too easy. So I wonder if there's a difficulty mode where you can set it for them to attack you. I really don't get this game so far. I really don't get it. So far, it's easy. You gotta be kidding me. The arcade version wasn't that easy. Well, there's something different. No, 
know, I thought this would be good. I thought this would be challenging, but no. These clouds, of course, I remember these clouds. At least I remember the arcade version pretty well, and I can definitely tell you, so far, this port sucks. Because it's so sticking easy. Because they don't attack you, they don't. So I wonder if there's a setting where they do attack you. I'm gonna figure this sucker out. I really don't get it. What? They're supposed to attack you. The last time I remember when it came to the arcade version. So far, this is just so sticking easy. Um, until I ran into that. But still. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit. Shit. That's my fault. I'm not liking this game so far because there's so far no challenge. Okay, the clouds kill you. Okay, there's a little bit of a challenge. But those those suckers are supposed to attack you. But why do they don't attack you? That's the question. It makes this game almost too easy. Dang that one. This game is almost too easy. It just sucks. Oh, screw it. Alright. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, that. Do that. Do that one. Is that the best mm. thing? Oh, it just brings the clouds. Come on! I know that the clouds make it challenging, but come on here. Let's see if there's any other difficulties. Let's try the three setting. We go faster, that's cool. Alright, so you go faster. Oh. It does. It's not a bad looking game, but the thing about it is... See, they don't attack you! I remember that they're supposed to attack you. And where is the uh, suits that are... Uh, in the arcade version, where where are they? Well, I ran into that, but it really makes no stinking difference. And you know why? There's no challenge to be had! Just shooting those and collecting them. What the f So far, this is not fun whatsoever. matter either way. That don't matter. There's only three? You gotta be kidding me. They don't tack at all? What the f You gotta be kidding me.
They don't attack whatsoever. There's only three difficulties. There's only three difficulty settings whatsoever. There's nothing. What the? F no suits. You have to collect these sticking suckers. This is not fun whatsoever. You're not really hardly any doing anything. You just shoot them down and that's it. But I remember in the arcade version, they attack you. Why are they not attacking you here? What the fuck? This port so far sucks, and it does because there's no challenge to be had except for when you're running into things. That's the only challenge that it has! See, if you run into anything, that's different. That's the only thing. That's the only challenge that there is! What the or if you're running into these sticking clouds. But if you don't run into the sticking clouds, what what good is it? There's no challenge to be had. That's the only challenge, these sticking clouds where you hit stuff. That's it. There's nothing else. Why are they not attacking you? I don't get it. I remember in the arcade version they attacked you. Even if you after you hit them. And the only challenge is that you either hit, hit, hit them thanks to uh, your, uh, your plane, or you hit the walls, or you hit the clouds, that's it. They don't even attack you whatsoever. And I remember in the arcade version that I did a game plan review of, I remember that they attacked you. And there's no, the different suits are missing. Is it playable? Yes. Is it that fun? No. you avoid them, it's easy. <laughs> yeah, you just collect the things and that's it. Where's the fun? They try to do somewhat of a challenge, but the thing about it is... The arcade game was much more challenging than this. the worst game that I wonder if uh... 
if Akalong is going to do a review on this. Well, I'm kind of disappointed with this port. I really am. Playable? Yes. Fun? No. So far, this is a disappointment. A disappointing game. I ran right into that. This, ah, I'm done. I am done. That is it. I am done with this. I am done. Close, get it, get it over with. All right, close that out. All right. I will see you for my final review. And I don't think I'm going to be giving this game a good rating. I'll talk about that when I get to my final review. So I will see you then. So, what did I think of Sky Skipper for the TAR 2600? Well, uh, I was disappointed with this port. I was disappointed. I thought Parker Brothers, the ones that made this arcade port, would do better. Oh my goodness. I will say it's playable, but the thing about it is they could have done a little more better with this. This feels unfinished. It really does. Yeah. So let's talk about how they could have made this game better. Easy. Make the gorillas throw things and jump up. And put more gorillas on there. That's one of the things that would have made the game better. And there were a few more. There were a few more of these characters in the arcade version. Put those on there. And there you go. You probably would have had a better arcade conversion for the Atari 2600. That was one of my biggest problems with the Atari 2600 version. Now, I'm going to give a pass to the uh, the stuff that you need to collect because it's kind of similar to all of the characters that have different suits because I went back and uh, at least played a little bit of the arcade version again just to keep things accurate and even though they don't show the suits for the characters that you're getting you're still at least collecting them and surprisingly enough there are different ways to collect them I found out and surprisingly enough, if you collect them a certain way, you will get your bar, and I'm talking about your gas bar, refilled. Now please note that you also lose a life if you lose all your gas. So if you hit things, or if you run out of gas, you lose a life. That's how the game works in this basically in disappointing port. However, I will say, even though when the video game critic talked about this, he gave it an F. It's not an F in my opinion, but the thing about it is, it really should have needed some work. This was surprisingly released, I found it in 1983. That was the year of the video game crash. So, as a result, they probably did not think of how to uh, 
make this arcade conversion better at the time because of the crash I don't know but the thing about it is this is so far Parker Brothers worst arcade port on the Atari 2600 because the thing about it is it's not as good as Frogger I'll tell you that Frogger was definitely a better arcade conversion I definitely like the arcade conversion that was done for the Atari 2600 of Frogger Sky Skipper however no but I will tell you what is good the graphics were fine I didn't have no problems with the graphics the controls were fine the sound effects were okay at best the only thing that wasn't fine was the gameplay because the only challenging thing about the game is you got to avoid hitting into walls or hitting the clouds or hitting the the gorillas on accident because the gorillas don't do anything why did you have to make the gorillas not do a single thing where in the arcade version they did much more I don't get it Parker Brothers I really don't get it see that was the biggest problem when the gorillas did not do a single thing that just robs us that really robs us of how it was with the arcade version now I'm really appreciating the arcade version because the thing about it is I found that to be at least playable I found that to be at least something and I gave that particular game a yellow card because I figured there were going to be people that liked the game because I would rather play the game again honestly however this game doesn't really deserve to be exist it doesn't deserve to exist because of course we already got the arcade version that you can find on the switch you can find the arcade version on the switch and that's a much better game. This Atari 2600 version, that was pointless to play because the thing about it is you got the arcade version that you can download on the Nintendo Switch and you might have a, a, a fun time with that particular game. The Atari 2600 version, unfortunately, as a result of time, it's aged badly and because the arcade version is on the Nintendo Switch I have no choice but to give Sky Skipper for the Atari 2600 a red card so that's been my review of Sky Skipper for the Atari 2600 and now I can happily say that I played both versions of Sky Skipper. And I feel that the arcade version is definitely the better version to go with. And of course I would have said that anyway. But the thing about it is the way the Atari 2600 version is, I can easily say just go with the arcade version will probably have a lot more fun than the Atari 2600 version. And that's all I really got to say. Now, I've given this a red card, but it's not going to stay at my number one worst games list. It's not going to stay. It could be on my list. You never know. Thank you all for watching, everybody. Stay safe and stay awesome, and happy gaming.